What it do, what it does, the kid, Mr. R.I.P. himself, low so case you ain't no so rockin' with DJ Dells. I'm an addict for sneakers. Sneaker Addicts! What's good? It's your boy DJ Dells. We've got a review on these bad boys right here. This is that exclusive with the leather upper. We do also have an leather upper, which is Fire Fire Flames too. Make sure to watch the review on this one right here. We're focusing on these right here, so let's get up close. Let's rock. Right off the bat, I will tell you this, the leather is incredible on these. I mean, just absolutely incredible. This is definitely, definitely shattered backboard, if not softer leather. I was not expecting the quality of the materials to be as excellent as it is. Getting up close on these, man, this leather, I'm telling you, is shattered backboard leather, man. I'm telling you, it's out of here. Got your keychain, a lot of options with the laces. As far as the laces, too, let me know where you're going with it. White, orange, or green. As far as the laces on these bad boys right here. You got that classic Wings branding. Then you got your Soulfly branding. Embossed in. Like how the Wings logo is. You got that orange outsole. There's a look at the back of the shoes. And I can see right off the top, on the back of the tongue, one side says MIA, Miami, and the other one has that 305, so they switched it up on each tongue, and I love when they do that kind of stuff right there. Love it. Quick look at the medial side as far as the fit to Air Jordan 1s. Go true to size, and if you have a wide foot, I still think you should stay true to size. You should be good to go, definitely. When it comes to pan leather, like on these right here with Jordan 1s, you want to make sure they fit exactly to your foot. You don't want them to fit where there's mad space by the toe right there, because it's going to fold, and this is going to crease, and it's going to look super ugly. So always be careful with that. You don't want the sneaker fitting long when it comes to a pan leather Jordan 1. Like even like them black and gold ones, this one right here, some creasing, it's not going to be the end of the world. I actually think it brings it a little character, a little creasing. I don't mind it at all. But when it comes to, uh, once again, like, hand leather shoes when they crease, it's, it's not very flattering, you know. But yeah, um, as far as sizing, that's my opinion. If you have a narrow foot, you probably could go down half a size on Jordan 1s, too. Birds have you on the toe, check it out, check it out. Get your perforations on that orange. And then you've got your green nylon tongue to your white Nike Air right there. On the footbed, you got the state of Florida with the Soulfly logo. And then they switched it up, put green on the state of Florida. And you have your Jumpman logo right there. And there you go with that detailed look. Let me know what you think of these. Hot, fire, overrated, meh. I hate that word. M-E-H, meh. Ugh, I hate that damn word, but leave it in the comment box below and make sure to bang that thumbs up button Don't be too cool for school. Show that love. Show that love. Show that sneakerhead love. Sneak out of glove. Bang that thumbs up on. Let's get a lot of thumbs ups on this vid. Definitely leave your comments. I got my t-shirts. Link will be in the description box below. Check them out. Check out all the designs. If you love sneakers and pop culture, you're going to love my tees. Plus, join my Patreon over at patreon.com backslash DJ Dells. Much love, everyone. We at Retro Kings. You know how it's going down Winston-Salem, North Carolina. If I show you guys some of my Nike SBs that I own, this isn't all of them. It's probably like 40%, if not less. I have tons in storage. And um, this one I've been actually wearing a lot lately. I beat the hell out of the toe of it. But I um, love these. These are really nice. Uh, we used to call these the Huxtables, but now we call them the Biggie Smalls for obvious reasons. We got Biggie Smalls right there, the Biggie Smalls Funko Pop. If you like Funko Pop, by the way, I have a channel dedicated to Funko Pop and more over at The Dells Show. The D-E-L-Z Show. So definitely subscribe there. We have tons of Funko Pop videos. I have a pretty big collection. Pretty sure over 300 Funko Pops. It's getting crazy, so definitely watch that. But um, these right here 
are awesome shoes. I definitely recommend if you're able to get them, get them. I don't know if they'll ever retro Nike SBs. I mean, we've seen them start bringing back like the classics, like the De La Souls. These are roasted. I mean, that's just like some chalk, but pretty beat up. But um, like the De La Souls, they brought back this OG colorway as a low, and then they brought back these as a high. I prefer Nike SB Dunk highs over lows. I like the lows, but I prefer the highs. I've always been that way, but I do love the lows still. Like, I'm not like anti lows, but I just prefer the highs. So I was happy when they put this out as a high, and I kind of wish that they brought back the other ones as a high also, like in its original form, but, but I was actually pretty happy that they brought back this as a high. Uh, let's run through a couple of more. Like you see this one right here. We'll run through a couple of more. These they brought back as a high. And I love them. I mean the leather on these were amazing. And they literally sat and went on clearance. <laughs> I think I paid like $40 for these believe it or not. And I just can't believe that they went on clearance. But there was no hype when these came out. They came out during the quote unquote wrong time where there wasn't any hype two Nike SBs anymore because at one point there was like tons of hype and then it died down. This is my favorite Nike SB I own right here and I would say it's a lot of people's grail as far as with Nike SBs sneakers in general and that's the Dr. Dooms which are just amazing sneakers. I absolutely love them. The materials are just so nice. You got 3M piping right here that pops like crazy. The Doom logo right there. The translucent with the graphic on the bottom. You've got this ostrich leather that's really nice. The Dubrays on these are crazy. Logo on the top. Just such a sick pair of sneakers. Absolutely love these things. And I'll show you a couple more because I have them actually in hand. And that is the Tiffany Dunk High. Now, me personally, I know some of you guys are going to think it's crazy, but I prefer the high over the lows. So I was happy when they brought this back as a high. I prefer it. Some of you guys are going to think I'm crazy, but I like what I like. I really don't care what other people like. But I'd love for you to leave your comments. Even if you think I'm crazy, write down the comments. I don't have soft skin. It's fun when I hear people that are like... You know, saying that I'm crazy about my opinions. Go ahead. <laughs> just having fun here. It's just sneakers. It's not that serious. So let me know your thoughts on like statements like me saying that these are better than the lows. You know, if you think I'm nuts, say it. <laughs> Another one that I have that I love is the Slayers. I'm a huge fan of Slayer. I've been listening to them since I was a kid. I was put on by my neighbor who was a lot older than me and used to play the guitar. And he actually taught me how to play the guitar when I was young. And I grew up listening to bands like Slayer, Metallica, Anthrax, Ozzy. So I really was excited to get these. Cause my taste of music is so broad because I had so many different friends that were into different stuff. I never really liked just one genre of music. It just, to me, it's like eating the same food every day. You know, like you're not going to get the same effect from eating the best slice of pizza and then eating the best piece of sushi you know it's just different vibes that's how i feel with music you get different vibes from different genres of music and this was a collaboration with brooklyn projects i'm pretty sure I'm like 99 percent sure this is i think kind of sought after i may be wrong but these are the resin dunks and i forgot when they released i think like maybe 09 2010 around there let me know the dates if you know them and props if you do. But um, these are really sick. Got that Gucci colorway. You got your denim right here. I mean, it's a really nice pair of sneakers. And I love them. I absolutely love them. I just wanted to show you guys some of my dunks. I have old videos showing collections, but the quality really sucks. And some of the sneakers I beat the hell out of. Like, I had the Mork and Mindy's at one point, which I missed so much. And those are gone because they were just, like, trashed. I completely trashed them. I would love a new pair of those, but that's probably not going to happen. And I just realized there's another one that I think that would be crazy if I didn't show that I just realized that I didn't show. And that is the Skunk Dunks. Now these are really sought after. The actual materials on these are bonkers. I mean, just out of control. I highly doubt they'll ever release something like this again. I mean, 
this one is out of here and then you know they came out with like the Cheech and Chong which I have somewhere I think that one actually is in my storage but it had like a canvas material and you could like burn the canvas material and underneath would be like this kind of material so it would look like some fluffy bud right there and it was really dope I have those the Cheech and Chongs but um I don't know exactly where they are right now and I wanted to put out this um, Nike SB video because you know this is such an awesome release concepts does such great work and the lobster was such a legendary release 